All right, for our final talk of the night, um, our next speaker founded the Lunatic Vagabonds in 2005 to push belly dance to its limits, which apparently included, at one point, zombie makeup. Uh, take that what you will. Let's have a big round of applause for Trisha Mia. So hopefully it doesn't fall down my pants. <laughs> and here we go. Whoa. Okay, so when I say belly dancer, a lot of people usually think of not really what I mean. They usually think of something more like a stripper. <laughs> Let's just be honest, okay? Um, and so what I'm here to talk about tonight is how that's really not the case. Up there you can see, there's Little Egypt. She did the hoochie coochie at the World's Fair in Chicago. She um, was brilliant and all about the abdomen and everything, and if you compare her to um, Queen Vicky over there, I don't think anyone ever saw her belly button. So you can kind of see where our understanding of belly dance came from. But belly dance is not about titillating, it's not just about, well, yes, we are usually very sexy, and yes, we do wear fantastic costumes, really. Um, but it's about a lot more than that, and that's what I'm here to talk to you about. Um, I did not get serious about belly dance until after September 7th, 2000, my sister was shot and killed by her husband, who then killed himself. And over the next two years, I kind of came to a new understanding of things, that you have to make your life the way you want it to be. You cannot wait around. And that said, I set off on my little belly dance quest because, you know, if you don't try, you don't avoid failure. You just suck. Um, so I started the Lunatic Vagabonds with my friend Kelly, and we are an alternative belly dance troupe. Was but it's about a lot that weren't enough for us. We wanted to get crazy and belly dance to Rob Zombie and wear zombie makeup. And we did, and that led me to meet a woman named Crystal Dunlap, and she founded Unveiled Belly Dance here in Ann Arbor. And she's one of those crazy people that has really giant ideas that you think, oh, never gonna work. And then it works, right? Um, so she said, let's have a two hour long belly dance show. It's like a ballet that has a theme, and let's call it Elemental. And we were all like, Okay, and we did, and we learned that, by the way, white silk, kind of see-through, fire, very hot, but that we really kicked ass. Um, to deciding, you know what, if the Vagabonds want to perform more, if I want more cool shows, let's just have our own. So we started hosting the Vagabond Variety Show, and we've had four ones of that. Um, and then we decided, you know, belly dance conventions are around the United States, and here in Detroit, a lot of people can't afford to go to them, and we have some awesome talent, so... Heck with it, we'll have our own convention. So Detroit Belly Dance and I teamed up and we host Detroit Rocks here in Ann Arbor. This is our third year this year. Um, belly Dance is an art. It has a lot of variety today. We even have our own American brand of belly dance. It's called American Tribal Style. Um, and you can do anything. You can wear sparkly bits. You can do your hair funky. You can do whatever you want. Belly Dance has a place for everybody to be an artist. It's based on folkloric culture which embraces everyone. Um, and when I say folkloric culture, I mean dances from North Africa, from the Rajasthanis in India, from Romani culture, from lots of places. It also has the added benefit of you get to join a community of the craziest, most fun people I could imagine. And in this way, I regained many sisters where I did lose one. And some of my best memories from the last 10 years have been with these people. And while I can think of a lot of ways that my life would be more relaxed, more laid back, you know, I've got a little baby now, I cannot imagine going without belly dance in my life. It would just be boring. So what I'm here to share with you guys is a little of that, what the real hoochie coochie is today, what belly dance is today. And to be able to appreciate belly dance, you need to have, you know, some signal. We don't just clap. We do what's called the zagarit. So you put your and you go la 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 la, but you do it really loud and really fast, right? You do it like this. La 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 Yeah? So when we dance, that's what you're gonna do, right? <laughs> oh good. We're gonna dance to a rhythm called the belly. It's played on the doombat or the tabla. This is my friend Rob here, and he's gonna play the Arabic hand drum, the doombat for us. And the belly rhythm. If you want to, oh, and I have backup dancers too, because, you know, that's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> the melody goes like this. Doom, doom, tech, tech, doom, tech, tech. 